As we near the 500 day mark of the war in Ukraine, one foreign exchange student in our area finds himself in a different type of situation, staying here much longer than originally planned. Mackenzie Mislin joins us now with the details. Mackenzie. Yes, Teresa, Mikola Prokrenko, or Nick, came to America back in 2021 as a foreign exchange student, and he's remained here since the war broke out. Now he's ready for college. However, he needs a little help getting there. Nick joined the Geneseo School District back in 2021. When the war emerged, Nick was unable to return to Ukraine. Instead, he stayed another year, his science teacher becoming his host parent. And now Nick has been accepted to college. He's planning to attend RIT in the fall. The school has agreed to pay for his tuition because of his situation. Technically, it was the only choice that I had to stay away from, from the war, away from uh, you know the danger which my parents really, you know, wanted me to do. Nick says just this morning, the capital of his home region was bombed again. He says civilian apartments were targeted, again showing the tragedies of the war. I'm not gonna make any like statements that there is, we don't know all the truths, we don't know all the things that are going on. Like it's, it's absolutely, you know, it's a lie. It's a horrible thing. We see what's going on. We see what's happening with people, with like civilians, not the not the actual army, but civilians. I don't know how you can yourself a human after doing all of this stuff. And as an American, David Kozlowski, Nick's host father, says he's realized how lucky he and other Americans have it. Part of living in the United States, and I've had this conversation with Nick before, is uh, many Americans don't have to worry about such things. Uh, many Americans can go through their day-to-day -day life in relative peace and prosperity. And when I, when I talk about such things, I'm talking about the brutal uh, war of aggression and some truly tragic things that have happened to a population. So that's primarily number one that I want people to know. Nick needs just under $80,000 for room and board and other necessities for college. We'll have the GoFundMe page attached to this article on our website for anyone looking to help Nick get to college. Teresa. McKenzie, thank you. Tomorrow, Rock Madon will also be marching in the 4th of July parade, reminding folks of the aid and they're providing that the aid that they're providing to Ukraine. We'll have a link to that organization at RochesterFirst.com. Meanwhile, Governor Kelly.